So this tutorial is how to do some fun stuff on the command line. So I'm going to show you guys how to make your computer talk to you, how to give yourself a half star customization in iTunes, and maybe customize your docs. So just keep watching and you can learn all these things and a few more. The first thing we should do is open up a terminal window. So click on Applications, then Utilities. Now on Terminal, our command prompt would open up shortly. The first command we want to run is the Say command. The Say command is really useful if you want it to read something or tell you something verbally. You could actually get your computer to talk to you. This might be fun if you want to just mess with your friend when you step out of the room. You can use Sleep then a certain amount of time and have it say something interesting to your friend while you're out of the room just to freak them out. The screen capture command is useful just for taking snapshots. Now we can use it with the argument as shown and then specify tilde which means our home directory slash desktop folder and then the file name. It will recognize the file extension you give it and assign it that file type. Once you enter you hit enter and you notice the camera will appear. Once you click on the screen, it will go ahead and take a snapshot of what you clicked on. The entire screen in this case, you can hit the space bar to toggle between it, and then you can notice in the background the file was created on my desktop. I think we all had CD drives that just refused to eject out of our Macs. So a great way to do this is with the eject command. But first we have to know the device. We type in mount. We see that this one is our device that our CD drive is listed as. Then this tool minus E and this one will go ahead and force that disk out of your computer. I don't know, but I would like to have a half star in my iTunes. And there's a really easy way to do this. Just type in the command that, as you see on the screen. It's also in the comments. Go ahead and paste that in and then go ahead and go to iTunes. And now you can see that we have the options to put one and a half star, two and a half star. And this way we can get a better accuracy of how we like our music and our books. By running this next command, it will allow me to take a widget from my dashboard and put it right on my desktop. So right in this example you're about to see is how to move my weather widget and go ahead and put that onto my desktop. I'm going to press the function F12 key while I am clicking on the weather widget. And once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and click on it and then it will be there when my desktop returns and now my widget is permanently there. To help organize our doc, it's nice to put spaces in between groups of applications. So running this command is going to allow a blank space to appear on my doc. I'm going to repeat it a few times to get as many blank spaces as I need until I like the way my doc now appears. The open command followed by the file name will open up the appropriate application for the file to open. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time and subscribe if you want updates. Bye!